What's up, Extreme Kids? This is First Lady K from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and this is your midweek story time where we are reading my first message Bible, a devotional Bible for kids by Eugene Peterson for ages four to eight. I want to take this time to thank all of our Extreme Kids for emailing us your, de- your challenge answers at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. It has been our pleasure to see all of your answers and to send you your gifts in the mail. I want to encourage you to continue to answer your challenge questions and send us your answers at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com, remembering that you can send us a picture of your answer. You can write a poem. You can do a skit. You can write it down. You can set us an audio recording or a visual recording. However you want to send it is absolutely fine with us. You can use your creative talents that Jesus has given you. And we are so excited to see those answers. And we will send you a wonderful gift in the mail. All right, so this week we're going to be reading from John chapter 6, if you wanted to turn to that in your own Bibles, but you don't have to. And our story today is bread and fish for all. So let's get started, extreme kids. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A huge crowd followed him, attracted by the miracles they had seen him do among the sick. When he got to the other side, he climbed a hill and sat down, (sighs) surrounded by his disciples. It was nearly time for the feast of Passover, kept annually by the Jews. When Jesus looked out and saw that a large crowd had arrived, he said to Philip, Where can we buy bread to feed these people? He said this to stretch Philip's faith. He already knew what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 silver coins wouldn't be enough to buy bread for each person to get a piece. Uh Uh-oh. Here's your first question or challenge, extreme kids. Why do you think Jesus wanted to feed the huge crowd that was following him? Hmm, interesting. One of the disciples, it was Andrew, Brother to Simon, Peter said, There's a little boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But that's a drop in the bucket for a crowd like this. Hmm, here's your next challenge, extreme kids. How do you think the little boy felt when Jesus fed the people with his lunch? Ho, ho. Well, Jesus said, Make the people sit down. There was a nice carpet of green grass in this place. They sat down, about 5,000 of them. Then Jesus took the bread and, having given thanks, gave it to those who were seated. He did the same with the fish. All ate as much as they wanted. When the people had eaten their full, he said to his disciples, Gather the leftovers so nothing is wasted. So they went to work and filled 12 large baskets with leftovers from the five barley loaves. Wow, what a miracle, Extreme Kids. How exciting. Here's your prayer challenge, Extreme Kids. Talk to God about things that are hard for you to share. Ask Him to help you share them with others. Thank Him for something special He has given you. Hmm, maybe like a special doll or a special car, a special gift that someone's given you that it's hard to share. I can't wait to hear your prayers, Extreme Kids. You are getting so good at your prayers. Here's your Living Out the Word challenge. Try sharing one cookie by taking turns, breaking it in half and in half again. Count how many pieces one cookie makes. Then have a big milk and cookie snack. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds yummy challenge. The second part of the challenge is, is decide to share something without being asked. This week, talk about ways your family can share with others. That is so wonderful. Sharing is so great, especially when you're not asked to share or if someone doesn't ask you to share, it's even more special. I can't wait to see how you share and what you're sharing this week. 
wonderful extreme kids. Thank you so much for being with us this week in your midweek story time. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I'm looking forward to your challenge answers. Be sure to send them to us at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com and remember to keep dreaming extreme. This is First Lady Kay signing off.